Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. We, we need some real wisdom here. <laughs> this, this fake wisdom across the table. You hear that, I'll do Janet? my best. I'll do my best, man. <laughs> All right, Reggie, who made the better pick last night? Was it Washington or New York? Well, it was definitely Washington, for sure. Yep. Um, and when I'm listening to Gettleman talk about comparing yep. uh, Brett Favre to an Aaron Rodgers situation, how you know he would like him to sit for three years, I don't know if that's the best thing <laughs> for the football team right now because – even when last year they had a chance to go draft a quarterback, they took Saquon Barkley, and Saquon had a great year, and I'm a huge fan of Saquon yeah. Barkley. There's still a reason they had the sixth pick, right? Yeah. There's still a reason that there was about 26 other teams in the NFL that were better than them because you need a good quarterback. And I love Eli, but we, I think we can all agree on this. His best days are behind him. He's not getting any better, right? Yeah. And so when you have a guy like Dwayne Haskins who's sitting there, and I don't know if it can be any more – Obvious. This guy had 50 touchdowns, only eight interceptions, 70% completion percentage. He played at a big time university. Um, I think the pressure is even more now on Daniel Jones and Gettleman to get this right because mm -hmm. now Haskins is in your division and you got to see him twice a year. Yeah, right. So we're going to find out real That's quick true. who made the better decision. Mm -hmm. And it's all skip. What did we go get? It's like if Dak and Carson Wentz. Yeah. They were in the same draft. Uh -huh. Even though they went, you know, first to, first round pick to fourth round pick, these guys are first round pick six and 15. Mm -hmm. For me, look, it comes down to this. Both teams needed a quarterback. Mm -hmm. The Giants had this kid rated very, very high. It's hard for me to believe, Skip, that if they felt they could get this guy at a later, uh, at a later pick, they wouldn't do that. I believe he was rated so much higher than Haskins. Real, uh, real, Will Greer, mm -hmm. uh, Matt Mock, and the uh, who the I forget the other guy, mm -hmm. but I believe they they he was rated so much higher than them, it forced their hand. Yeah. Even though Gettleman says, you know, you don't drive for knees, Skip, or you know, you end up making a mistake. <laughs> you Cle get screwed. You get, okay. Really? Clearly, they felt they needed a quarterback <laughs> yep. because they took one mm -hmm. with the sixth pick in the draft. Mm -hmm. I like Washington because guess what? They needed a quarterback and they didn't have to move anywhere. Yeah. They mm -hmm. they got the second rated quarterback on most everybody's uh, mock. And they got him in the middle of the first round. Mm. You can't argue with that. I like the situation that he's going to, Skip, because I believe the West Coast is very similar to what he ran at Ohio State. Let me put the ball in playmakers' hands. Mm -hmm. Get it out of my hands quick. I will let them do the heavy lifting. Mm. So I believe he's better situated. Matt, I mean, uh, uh, Daniel Jones going to New York, and he's got he can't they can't sit him. You can't sit the sixth pick in the draft no, yeah, you for three play. years. You got to play for it's, three. It's Aaron Rodgers is what twenty. 22, 22, yeah. 24, yeah. Well, something like that. At least you like could different. say different. He, he fell all the way. Right. He was the guy left in the green right. room, yeah. right? Yeah. Behind Brett Favre. Brett, Brett, Brett no. Favre, thank all right. you. All right. It's a little different. Right. By the way, quick point of order. Do you see any of yourself in Saquon? Any? I see a little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, I see, definitely see a little bit of, of myself in Saquon. But obviously, I think Saquon was more of a natural runner earlier in his career. It took me about two, three years to okay. adjust to the speed and the difference. Really? Of, yeah. To become a more natural inside runner, I was always, I love to get Hit outside, the bed. Hit get the people head. in space, <laughs> shake them, you know, break them down in space. Saquon is naturally just running through tackles, breaking tackles. I kind of had to learn that in the NFL. But he'll look a bigger man than you were to yeah, He was He's like 235. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. He's a little bit bigger. Not faster. Not, Not faster. faster. No, no, no. no. Okay. no I ain't say faster. Uh -uh. <laughs> I ain't going that far. No. Back to the business at hand. Just because quarterback is by far, obviously, the most important position on the football field, mm -hmm. and because the Giants were so desperate at quarterback, mm -hmm. I, I have now decided this is the biggest reach and risk in the history of the draft. Yeah. It's the biggest one I can ever, ever remember. Wow. I've been doing this for a the long time. Ever. As far as high reach, reach. for yeah. somebody who wasn't even on the radar yes. for reaching for. Mm -hmm. And it's a quarterback. We've seen reaches for, you know, D-line, offensive yeah. line. Some, yeah. some guy comes out of nowhere. What are you doing? What are yeah. you thinking? But you can get away with that. You can't get away with this. Mm -mm. And to your point, it was Saquon or Sam Darnold last mm -hmm. year. And I'm not mm -hmm. the biggest Sam Darnold guy. He came from your school, mm -hmm. obviously. But, but he, he will be far better than Daniel Jones will ever hope to be mm -hmm. in New York. And now he's got to – the guy he's going to be competing he with is Sam be. Darnold. Yeah. He better I'm not be because they're in the same city. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel for this kid because he didn't pick himself. No. Yep. yep. He, he, there's no way he has the ability, the capacity to live up to the expectations that got created last right. night because Giants Nation went crazy. Oh, they oh, lost it. We got our guy. They lost it. 
No, you don't. Got your guy. <laughs> they, got a, they got a guy. They got, they got a guy. Have you ever felt bad for a player, honestly, in the history of covering this thing? You truly felt bad for him. I mean, bad. what does that say? It's a terrible, terrible, place. <laughs> terrible place to be thrust and when, into. And, and, and when Urban Meyer talked about him, talked about Dwayne Haskins, he talked about his football IQ mm-hmm. at the offensive line, putting his team in positions to succeed, being able to change the protections so that he, he didn't get hit a whole lot in, no. in college. And Urban Meyer gave him a, a ton of credit for that. That's what you want out of a rookie quarterback because a lot of rookie quarterbacks struggle with that exact thing, the football IQ side of it, because the game is faster. Um, defensive coordinators are a lot smarter, mm-hmm. uh, and they're going to continue to test your football IQ with blitzes and, and coverages and 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 disguising everything blitzes. Is disguised. Everything. everything. They ain't nobody in everything. college. They'll just line up in it because exactly. they don't have. They, you don't have the time yeah, to meet exactly. these guys here. They're disguising everything. Disguising you think everything. it's one thing, wow. and they're trapping you on the backside. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm just not convinced about Dwayne Haskins. It, it scares me a little bit that he was a little bit of a product of yeah. Urban's protection scheme yep. and track team of receivers because mm-hmm. all three of those kids ran sure. fast at the combine. I would agree 100% okay. with that. So I'm not sold, but I give him a much better shot than I give Daniel Jones. Yep. I'm going to say this one more time. I watched Daniel Jones just on TV four or five times. Not once did it ever enter my head that he was remotely a high pick. Mm-hmm. I just thought, I don't know. I don't think I ever thought of him being drafted. Yeah. Maybe a fifth or sixth round backup quarterback. Maybe just because he's a David Cutcliffe sure. product. He's a first right. round backup quarterback now. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So again, Todd McShay had him ranked 59th on his board, and I thought that was kind of high to right. tell you the mm-hmm. truth. And so that's like second, third round. Okay, that's late second round. Okay. Late that's second, sure. that's late right. second. That's okay. not bad. So that, that's, that's not <laughs> sixth overall. Yeah. So for those who don't remember, David Cutcliffe was. Peyton Manning's offensive coordinator at Tennessee, Tennessee yep. and head coach for Eli at mm-hmm. Ole Miss. Oh, yes. yep. Okay, so he is the quarterback maker in college. Mm-hmm. But he, it's not Daniel Manning that you draft. You've got to have some bloodlines to right. be that guy. Right. And, and so is David Cutcliffe going to coach the kid? Right. No. He's not. And so I'm going to say this again. Pat Shermer is the head coach of the Giants. He has a son named Kyle Shermer, who was my quarterback at my school, Vanderbilt, for the last three years. Kyle Shermer's pretty good. He'll get drafted in the sixth or seventh round today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're about the same size, he and Daniel Jones. Mm-hmm. Stats, a little better last year for my guy, Kyle Shermer. I'm not he's my guy, he's at my school, because I, I, don't, I don't love him. Right. But, right. but I will bet you that if you look at stats and look at QBR, he had a little better year last year than Daniel Jones had. Mm. I'll bet you if you put his father, the head coach of the Giants, on mm-hmm. a lie detector today, right now, he'd tell you <laughs> his son will be a little better pro than Daniel Jones. Yeah. But this wasn't... Pat mm-hmm. Shermer's idea. Right. This was Dave Gettleman. Skip, a lot of times, when, when they, especially quarterbacks, when they evaluate a quarterback, they'll say, if he had better talent around him, because they're looking yep. at Duke's roster, mm-hmm. they're looking at the wide receivers, sure. the tight end, the running back, and they said if they had better talent around him, this kid might could be really, really special. So Dave Gettleman says, well, I'm going to surround him with better ta- talent, and maybe we'll see. Skip, I saw him, only saw him one time, and it just so happens I turned the TV on, and when it turned the TV comes on, it had sound. And they're talking about this guy might be the first pick, the first quarterback, first pick taken. And I'm, I said, well, let me watch. You're cut out. Let me watch. I said, him? They said that then? Yes. I don't think anybody's saying yeah, that. I don't know you, who those they guys said, are. He, this guy's going to be a first round pick. He might could be the first. <laughs> they knew something you didn't. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe everyone does. So I, I if know. I'm a quarterback, I'm going, I'm going to David Cutcliffe because he yeah. get me drafted in the first round. <laughs> probably the sixth pick overall. Probably He's a quarterback could. guru now. So what did Gettleman say? That he was sold at the Senior Bowl. Senior did you Bowl. play in any mm-hmm. of those games? I didn't, I, I didn't play in the Senior Bowl, no. Yeah, okay. You, no. No. Okay. So, Senior Bowl. A lot, lot of good kids there. Yes. A lot of talent. Yep. But mm-hmm. usually the quarterbacks go in order, the pecking order of how they're viewed by their pro coaching yes. staff. Yes. So, the starters in that game were Drew Locke and Will Greer. I love Will Greer. I think he's the second best quarterback in this draft, but that's just me. So, those two guys started and played the whole first half. Daniel Jones started the second half. Yep. So you're going against the second best players right. on mm-hmm. the other team, right? Right. Mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. And he put up good numbers. He had eight out of 11 for 115 yards, and he was voted Senior Bowl MVP yes. from his second half performance. Right. Yep. And Dave Gettleman said, I saw a pro. Is that what he said? Yeah, he said, I saw a pro quarterback. A pro I saw him walk out there. Okay. <laughs> really? Let's give a, lot of, that? a lot of times. Really? Guys, One game. A okay. lot of these guys have already had evaluation, so they already have a grade. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the grade can move up or down according to the, pro, uh, uh, the senior bowl practices and what you do at the combine and then all that other stuff. Mm. So a lot of these guys, when they start, 
they're the higher graded players. Exactly. That's why they're starting. Exactly. So for for me, Joe Skip, like I said, they needed a quarterback. Yeah. And they had a value. They had a grade on him. Skip, look, you got a dollar. What you gonna pay for a car? You might be overpriced. You know it might be overpriced. But but you can't do that. (laughs) I know. If if he's not that guy, you just can't spin the sixth pick because now you've invested the next four or five years. Oh, yeah. Oh, you stuck with him for three years. There's a potential bust here where you you keep waiting and waiting and hoping and trying, and you finally say, he's just not that guy. Well, now you've wasted at post-Eli because I I think they do want Eli to play for at least one more year, right? Yeah, they do. You know why? Because he beat Tom Brady twice in Super Bowls, and Tom Brady's still going in Foxborough, so they say, why can't our guy still go, right? But everybody thinks that. Everybody, well, Tom's doing it. Why can't I? Because you can't. (laughs) Because you ain't Tom. Exactly. Right? <laughs> I see people living to be 115. Why can't I live to be 115? It's just not in the makeup. Skip. Everybody can't play till they're 42. No. No. And besides, they got the rules set up for him. They ain't mm-hmm. going to let you hit it. And I don't, oh. think, I don't think the Redskins, you know, I was listening to some of the, the, the conversation come out of Washington. I don't even think they wanted to draft a quarterback. They just felt like they had to because right. he was it there. He was like the best the, option. It sounded like the owner got involved. Yeah. And the owner yeah. wanted marquee. He wanted a personality mm-hmm. he could sell. And the kid has good charisma. He's fun to be around. Now he's got a new chip on his shoulder. Uh, what did he say about the league? Leave him uh, messed up. Done yeah. messed up. Okay. And, and again, that's I going to help yeah. him. Okay. That, that's good. <laughs> I like that. But can he live up? Can, can he be that guy? Can he be better than Alex Smith? I'm not going on wood for Alex Smith to come back because Alex Smith is pretty good. I don't, I don't think he's coming back. That was no. a gruesome injury. Yeah. That, that, that was, was it happened on the same day in the same location as Joe Theismann had his injury. That's true. And Joe never played another game. Me, I didn't, I didn't play with a chip on my shoulder because all I found no. it, it weighed me down. I need to be light. <laughs> But well, you always said something to prove. No, no, no. I didn't try to prove them wrong. I didn't need to prove me right. No? I mm. thought I was good enough. Yeah. Mm. See, they prove devalued right. me because I, I went like to Savannah it. State. Yeah. Well, who were your coaches and all that? I said, okay, fine. That's well, fine. Then you ran 4-8. No, no, no. But you know what? <laughs> hey, you know what I did, though? All I did was do the right Back thing. Back on. I, 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 I ain't going to, you know, old, old, old seven-round seven Hall of Famer. Really? They ain't very many of us. Seventh the, round. There, there are not many. Ain't many of us in this building. <laughs> Oh, no. You got to drink the cup. Yeah, you got to yeah, leave, yeah, leave, you you leave the finger out there when you drink. I feel pretty good. You know, Emmett was a first rounder. He's in the hall. Yeah. Me. yeah. Junior. Yeah. Me. Cortez, first rounder. Me. Yeah. You know, we got to look. Johnny Randall was an undrafted free agent. You are. That's My year. We got a nice little club. We got five of us in there. You guys are doing just fine. We do it all right. right. Mm-hmm. You're doing all right, Shark. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to the uh, television hall of fame for busting you up really? for the next decade. Boy, that's delusional. <laughs> now, I'm, gonna, yeah, like, I'm going to this time hey, I'm going to first ballot. Yeah. Skip first there. ballot. <laughs> Skip is in the gym now. I yeah. see him in the gym. He in there working on his bicep. I seen him in his bicep curls in there. You know what? I'm going to give you a star on the Hollywood <laughs> Walk of Fame for busting you up. Really? Yeah, I'm about to be the Kodak man, the man really? theater out there front. You're going yep. after a star now. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. For busting Skip up. <laughs> you're nothing but a seventh round. <laughs> on this show, you're a seventh round pick. <laughs> that what I, that's what I, my name is gonna be a, That's gonna be my little moniker. Like they got like a, I think Johnny Carson got a little microphone up under here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Michael have bus skip. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yep, that way go have. You, know, you got to always seven you, rounds too. I, I gotta seven say, round you, you always crack me up. I'll give you that. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Uh, we can't let you wear that thing around here anymore. A lot of confidence from yeah. this side of the table. Yeah, yeah. I feel good. Hey, you, your your brother would have been in the Hall of Fame. He, he got hurt, so you, there's no need to have a chip on your shoulder. What you mean? What you, I got to do with me? Your brother, you you got somebody who was already a star. But they said. Uh, uh, the, Denver said, well, can he catch, can Sterling Sharp catch passes for the Broncos or he only going to catch passes for Green Bay? Because if you can't help but, us, we're going to get you a fight. Like Starling, Sterling can do it. Shannon can do it. I right? mean, well, you're right, Skip. I mean, they, they looked at that. They're like, well, dang, I mean, it can't be all bad. I mean, you didn't come out of nowhere. Nah, no, I was somewhere. <laughs> I, was, I was somewhere. I was oh. the second highest rated receiver coming out the draft. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Second highest rate what? Yes. The second Tight highest. Tight end? No, worse, bro. I was a wide receiver coming receiver. out. Receiver. What? Yes. <laughs> oh, now we're just re- we're rewriting history. Oh, you, go, you go look at the scouting report. Really? They just said I was raw. Raw. Okay. <laughs> That's what they say. So the second best the receiver said raw. lasted until the seventh round. <laughs> seventh round. That was some Who draft. Only two people called. Cincinnati and Seattle called. Asked me where was I going to be on Sunday. Mm. Neither one of them bums called me. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, they paid for it, They right? sure did. Yeah. I made sure Seattle, because we were in the same division, <laughs> they had to catch these L's all the time. And, and now he said, no chip on shoulder? That yeah, sounds that's like a chip. Yeah, like a chip yeah, over yeah. there. They had to catch yeah, these L's. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah, chip, yeah, that's yeah, a weight. Yeah, yeah. Right? I like that. Yeah, uh, I had to prove me right. Okay.
works. Reggie, mm -hmm. you have anything else to add here? It's hard to follow. No, I, it's very hard to follow that. <laughs> just I don't kidding. Let me finish that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being here. By the here. way, thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it, bro.